Today, in honor of Spy X Family Season 2 coming out, yes! I'm going to show you how to draw your forger, Spy X Family. Speaking of spies and assassins, make sure you stay tuned to the end for the secret word of awesomeness. Also, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and bell button. That way, you'll be up to date with the latest secrets from Totally Amazing. So, let's get down to it, shall we? Okay, so to start off with, we're going to draw a basic shape or stick figure. So, what I'm going to do is going to draw a nice S shape for the spine and the, or the body. And now I'm gonna draw a circle at the top here with a triangle at the base for the head. Now for the chest, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a bit of a ant's head over here. And there's gonna be the arm socket and the other here's gonna be over here is gonna be the other side. And straight under that, I'm gonna draw a Superman logo for the pelvis. So we've got our connecting parts of the body. Like so now for the legs, I'm gonna have one leg coming out to the side here with a triangle at the base to look, make it look really cool or a diamond. And this leg is gonna be folding back like she's about to jump out and ready to spring into action. Now for her arms, she likes to have her weapons sort of crossed like this. So she's ready for action. She's also in a very good defensive position. I'm gonna draw a nice L shape over here with a rectangle and a line coming down that's one arm and then another L over here rectangle over here with the mark for where the dagger is going to be facing one final thing what we're going to do from the the pelvis I'm going to draw a wavy line either side to indicate where the the dress is going to be splaying out oh and one more thing I'm going to put in some tear shapes for the chest so we know where they're going to be connect my neck up a little bit okay so that's the basic shapes of our yaw what i'm going to do now is going to just flesh her out a bit give her a bit of muscle and definition so we can actually see what the body's doing so what we're going to do here i'm going to make her give her her arms on either side so we're using our guides to tell us where to put our parts of the body that looks good the chest is coming around, connects to the pelvis. We've got our breasts over here. And then the legs, I'm gonna use my Superman logo for the guide for my legs. We've got our feet over here. And this one's gonna be coming back a little bit, so we're gonna see it hidden underneath that leg, part of the leg there. I'm just gonna draw it as a guide so I can see that I got the right shape. Bring that out and back to the knee. And we've got our heel and our foot. And now what I'm gonna do is gonna spray, splay out so I can see where the, 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 the dress is going to go. Okay, so we've got our basic structure and our body looks good. Let's start putting in some details. Let's start with the head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a line curved halfway down for my eye line guide. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle, just to give me a guide for the, the distance, and a circle, and a circle for the eyes. So she's gonna be an assassin mode, so her eyes are gonna be quite squinty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line at the top. That sort of splays out, and it's gonna come, I'm gonna draw a line at the bottom. Nice harsh angles. Same on the other side, line coming out, back down, and line at the bottom. And you can put some little bits of um, extra lines on the edges for eyelashes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, a, a semicircle at the top, because she's glaring, so she's very focused, and you only see the, the semicircle from the, hanging off the top of the eye. So two semicircles on the top. A little bit of a eyebrow, because she's glaring. The nose is just a little L shape. Now for the, the mouth, I'm going to draw just a little curved M. With a little curve on the bottom. So she's paying attention. She's really focused. Now I'm just going to smooth off our jaw a little bit. Come up and just sort of splay up. So nice, nice pointy chin, but come up and then splay back. So join back at the head. Now her hair, She's got a big clump at the front with little fringe bits and she's got these long bits on the side. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our long bits at the side. Have them going out and this one's going to come down. 
because of the way she's spinning. And then just next to it, we draw another line just to accentuate our uh, hair. Then the actual, the front, I'm gonna draw a big bulk bit at the front, sort of in line with the eyes. One and two and three, and then one, two, three little bits on the side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curve over for the head, make it so that the hair sticks up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put two extra curves in, because she wears like a, a, a braid at the top there. Now finally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some jagged lines across for when we color in. So it makes it look like her hair's black. Now she's got these roses on the side of her head, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw some drag, jagged lines at the edge here. You can go as wide as you like. So you want fairly wide capped jagged lines to help show that there are flowers there. And she's got these little spikes that come off just like so. Finally her little earrings, she's got these pointy little darts that she has. And I'm just gonna bring up a little bit of her hair at the back because it's all tied up at the back. All right, so that's the head. Okay, so let's work on the next thing which is in front, which is her arms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just define them a little bit better. So I'm gonna go beyond my point there. Just put a bit of an elbow, bring that back. And this arm is going to connect at the side here. And now for the glove, I'm gonna put a curve in, and a curve around, which goes just a bit beyond the actual dimensions of the hand. And I'm gonna draw a line up, a line back, and then I'm gonna draw, see how that, that line there? I'm just gonna define that a little bit. This will all be black, and this part here will be having a bit of color. And I'm just gonna put in just a few little mountains for the fingers, and for watching where our dagger's gonna go. So I'm just gonna bring that back up to the hand. Now for her dagger, I'm gonna put in a bit of a curve, which comes back to the hand and back down. And then it's just gonna come down to a point like so. Other end, finish off our curve and put in a circle with a circle inside. That's one dagger. I'm just gonna draw, actually I'm gonna draw a straight line across cause she's got a feminine hand. And then have our one, two, three, four little mountains. They come up, hand's gonna go back just a little bit. Got our glove there and then we wanna just come out from the hand, a little bit bulky, like a, a little bit of a curved rectangle on either side. Now it's gonna go in front of the hair. And this dagger is gonna, again, come out to a point. And we'll just define this arm a little bit better, a little bit of a curve, splay out, put in our elbow and bring that back. Lovely. Okay, so now let's start working on her body and her dress. I'm just gonna smooth off the the shoulder a little bit, make her look a bit more feminine. Now she has her neck piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line at the base, a line at the top with some lines coming down, which I will just color in quickly so we can see them. So that's one bit. Now it's this crossing section, it sort of covers in her neck, her chest and on her legs. So we've got to bear that in mind. We have a line that comes down. Now imagine this line actually continues all the way around and joins onto our on the edge of her dress. So either side, imagine the line continuing through to the edges of the dress on both sides. So this one we're going to come down, two sides, imagine it coming down again, joining to her dress. And there we go. Just seal off the chest. Now she has this strap that goes across her top here and goes over her shoulder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curved line to indicate where the, the strap is. And then I'm gonna just draw another line just slightly above it, getting thin as we go back. Okay, so imagine this chest line coming around a bit further, and now we're gonna work on her dress itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in some indications of folds, and they're sort of like ticks. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I go around it a bit further, because these bits are the actual bits that are gonna show the color of the dress, which is black. Because if you just have at all one solid black thing, it just looks like a black blob. What is that? You need to have some bits where the light actually hits the dress. Okay, now we're gonna have our dress coming around and it's gonna bulk around at the back of it, so we need a little bit of a light again. Okay, so now we have to address them, but the way her legs are, her dress is sort of being arced up a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
put a bit of a curve around like so. Go a bit beyond and come back. And we're going to do the same again. Bring it back up to the body. This time we're going to do, we're going to have some crinkles again. So we're going to bring that up. And this side, this side's going to do the same. And this one's going to come up again. So we're going to have an edge that's going to be lit up and then the bulk of the dress is actually going to be black. And one final one like so. And now this side of the dress, I'm going to do the same. So it's going to have a little bit of out and follow the edge of the dress. Basically, you're getting your edge and you're just accentuating your edges a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so that's her dress. Now let's start working on her legs. Okay, so her legs, they're mostly black and they're sort of shiny material. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna first off put in our, our strappy bit and draw some lines like so. So you're sort of crossing the lines. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna define the leg a little bit better. Some ripples down here. Now what I want is I'm gonna have a line inside Show the knee, it's going to come up, it's going to just basically taper down, have a little bit of a ripple down at the base there, and come along the base of the shoe. So the rest of the foot is actually going to be black. But of course we've got this line in the center there which is going to not be black, it makes it look like a shiny black boot. Very cool. So again we've got our leg over this side, Got our knee, bring that up, and we've got our strappy bits. Straight line, straight line, straight line. And we're just going to define our leg a little bit better so we can see it. Put in a little ripple at the base there for the, the folds of the material of the boot. And we put in our shiny bits again. So we're going to have our edges of the leg seen. We're going to have our strappy line, we're going to have our shiny line, sorry, coming down and showing the knee and then following the, the contour of the leg down. So just close that off. So that's going to be, I'll just shade it in so you can see it. And then we're going to have the shine again, starting again from the back here. So I'm going to just contour that to the point where the leg meets. Put in a little ripple and bring it back to the shoe. Just like that, and show the curve of the back of the heel. Now she actually has a heel, so we need to draw that in. So just to just continue the heel down and bring it straight back up. Okay, so that's all our sketching done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my marker and I'm going to mark in all the lines that I want to keep. Then I can rub out all my guidelines so we can actually see our picture a lot better. If you love fantasy and adventure and being taken to a completely different world, make sure you check out my comic Antispire. There's a link in the description.
And there you have it, your Forge from SpyX family. You'll notice too that I left a lot of the highlights white. That just helps accentuate there's a bright spot on the black shiny clothing. So it looks really good. So it's really exciting. Spy X Family Season 2 is coming out. So have fun drawing your your. So you made it this far. I guess you're waiting for the secret word of awesomeness. Well, let's make it your secret code name, Thorn Princess. So put Thorn Princess in the comments to let people know how awesome you are and that you made it this far. Well done you. Okay, so now you've drawn your own version of your. So what you want to do now is check out the video on your screen so that you can draw your own version of Anya as well. Get the family together. So check out the video right now to draw Anya.